If there's going to be a movement, if there's going to be a push towards sustainability and true green, not greenwashed green, but something that can, can help us, help clean the air, and still supply you with what you need out of that fuel, biodiesel is the way to go. There, there's no modification to your equipment necessary. You, you don't have to have a, a vehicle that's something that has to be required to have it because you can just throw it in the tank. And your heating oil, you just throw it in the tank. There's no modification necessary. The end user, all they have to do is think, think green. You know, All they have to do is say, you know what? I, I want to be a little greener and I can do that at good value and I can feel good about what I'm doing. We actually relied on a lot of research that's been done, uh, a lot of it right out in Long Island at Brookhaven National Laboratories, which have, have done extensive research on all different blend levels of bioheat. And what else they found at Brookhaven is that the emissions reductions in a boiler are even better than the emissions reductions uh, out of an engine. I think you, you need a policy that's going to push the market along. Nobody wants to do something that doesn't have to do especially greedy petroleum companies. I, I don't mean that to be derogatory against petroleum markets. They're necessary, we have to be there. It's just giving us a bad taste because uh, every time you try to take a, a, a foot forward, you feel like they push you back. They'll, they'll go out of their way. You can talk to them in the blue in the face. Until they tell them they have to do it, they won't do it. They won't do it. You have to create a policy so you have to do this. The minute they do that, they'll accept the fact that they have to reinvest and change the way they do business. I will say now is a great time for that to take place. This economy has been stripped down uh, of all the waste and the uh, mismanagement of, of money and lives. And now is a great time to what, wipe this slate clean and say we're going to do business this way. So I think policy you think is first, um, the willingness to change policy probably prior to that. Um, and once you do that, you create the demand for the markets. Pennsylvania has created a demand for the market. Where's the money? In Pennsylvania because you have to blend this fuel. So you have terminals upgrading, blenders upgrading, people buying the fuel, selling the fuel. We deliver the bioheat because it's cleaner, better for the environment, better for the economy, and it also has a, uh, a financial aspect that's better for the consumer. In New York State, you, you receive a, uh, up to a 20 cents per gallon uh, tax credit if you're using a B20 bioheat, so we, we're trying to max out uh, what's best for the customer and what's best for the environment. Let's face it, we want something that's going to be better for right now, we want something that's going to be better for our kids. It just makes sense.